All right, my friends, you are about to get spoiled. Let me show you something awesome. Okay, so you know how when you're doing an EFA and you end up with a pattern matrix that's pretty clean, and then you want to move it over to a CFA, you got to build a model like this, and it's a real pain in the patootie. You got to, let's see, you've got to you know, build a model just the way you like it, rotate it, resize it, move everything, name everything. I mean, it's, it's just a real pain in the rear. And then you end up with this huge model that's a real mess quite often, and it doesn't run. There's some error and you can't figure it out because maybe you have a floating invisible item over here, or you have, you know, forgot a, a constraint somewhere, or you name something wrong, or any number of things could happen, and it just turns out to be a mess. So, my good friend, uh, one of my research assistants named Russ Taylor here at BYU developed a plugin for Amos, that's right, one of these things, to just take one of these pattern matrices and create automatically the CFA for it. Let me show you. This is where you go to get it first. Get online, go to statwiki.colocreations.com and when it loads, if you don't see this new link down here called Amos EFA to CFA plugin, hit Control F5. That'll refresh the window, or refresh the website, uh, and ignore your cached information. So I'm going to click on this plugin link, and in Chrome it opens up down here, and it's going to say, "Hey, this is a driver file, a DLL." Uh, this is dangerous. Do you want to keep it? Yes, I do want to keep it. In other browsers, it'll say similar things. The answer is yes, you do want to keep it. It's not going to harm you. Um, and I'm not going to click on it. I'm going to open its file location. Let's see, open in folder. It's probably in your downloads folder, no matter what browser you're using. So here it is. I have to right click it, go to properties, and unblock it. Um, many of you will have this option. Others, it's already unblocked, so don't worry about it but I have to unblock it <clears throat> because it has potentially harmful uh, code in it. It's a driver file. It can actually change my registry and things like that. This one doesn't. It's totally safe, I swear. There's nothing, it's not gonna do damage to your computer. Anyway, so that's all fixed. Now, what we need to do is put it in the right folder. So I'm gonna type in Amos and right click this here and go to its file location and then go to plugins and I realize I'm going fast but that's why it's in video so you can pause and rewind and then in the plugins folder I'm going to drop that driver so this is with all the other plugins and then I'm going to close and reopen Am uh, Amos close, no I don't want to save reopen here it is and here's all you have to do you just copy, so right click, copy the pattern matrix, go over to plugins, pattern matrix model builder, there it is. Oh, I need to specify a data file. If I haven't done that yet, you'll be prompted. If you have done that yet, or already, you will not be prompted. Go find that data file. For me, it's Sohana observed. Hit OK. And then you just paste, that's Control V, or right click paste, your pattern matrix into this area and hit create and it's thinking and thinking and thinking and there we go it creates it for you and makes it all symmetric and aligned and and gorgeous um, it won't name these for you except numerically so you have to go back and name those but that's a small price to pay for all that and this can handle all sorts of things. Um, so I used, for example, in this EFA, I used maximum likelihood and pro max rotation. But you could use principal components analysis or uh, principal axis factoring or whatever. And you could use Verimax rotation or, or whatever you like. Uh, be warned though, if you use something other than pro max rotation, you might not end up with a pattern matrix. You'll end up with something like a rotated factor matrix. This works too, so it's not a problem. You can also test really, really big models. Let me show you. Let me just save this one as YouTube test demo. Let me show you a big one I did. Let's see, Fatty McGee. Look at that, isn't that crazy? This has 12 factors and like 54 items 
and it ran just fine. It took a little bit of time, but it ran. And not only did it run, it runs. Let me show you. Let me hit run. And up arrow. And there it is. It ran. Isn't that crazy? And I'll show you just so you know I'm not fooling you. Let me go back to the, um, the one we just had open. File, recent, YouTube test demo. This is the one we just had open. Let me go ahead and look for standardized estimates. And run it. Up arrow, and there you go. It runs just fine. Isn't that awesome? So thank you, Russ Taylor, for making that. Uh, that should save a lot of people a lot of time. You're awesome.